Hi and welcome back to a brand new video. Here I'm going to be talking about the uh, LP colorizer from Creation Knots that they very kindly sent me the update. I had the original and then the update version 2 which I did a video on about three years ago and it was quite successful. People liked it and uh, a lot of people have been asking me what I use to make those colors and uh, because I've been using it since because I find this here extremely boring and uh, I just cannot live with that so I will never go back to it I don't think I just don't think it's very funky it's very grey and boring so what you do is open up LPX colorizer the window opens up like this but you can make it bigger obviously like pulling it over a bit to make it a bit bigger um, I think this is about the, mm, that's about a maximum you can have it without it going over. So let me just go over to uh, the bundles that come with it. So you've got all these different choices uh, to start off with. Um, so if you go through, <laughs> you've got some pretty crazy ones here. Uh, you've got some quite kind of tame ones. This is, you know, all different kind of contrasts of colours that make it quite interesting. And then you can really, 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 really go deep into what you want to do so on the basic window you've got the mixer window where you can modify stuff smart, smart controls there's just the 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 controls up the top that you can change there then you've got the piano roll score step editor library and all these colors you can change them right i'm going to show you in a minute how to do that uh, audio tracks coming soon there's going to be an update soon so that's going to be good so go back to your arrange window. When you want to customize something, you have to create a user preset for yourself. So I've got one like this, right? Which is basically the same as the other one and the mixer and stuff like that. And um, so, yeah, so let me go into what, I'm, what I want to do here. I want to sort of change a lot of, the, a lot of this stuff. I'm not quite convinced about. Uh, I don't like the grades and I don't like the, uh, the way the, this doesn't follow the tracks and stuff like that so first of all let's just go in here we can quickly change the backgrounds of these right no problem whatsoever okay have it about i would have it like this this i would kind of keep a bit darker as well keep this uniform that i'll keep lighter gray so it's, it's distinguished up the top just click on it and then we'll go to lead with that and maybe have something a bit darker up the top all right okay then let's get over to these parts here. Um, maybe just have that a bit lighter, like that. Then here, what we do is go up here, select your use track color. Okay, then click on that button there, and that will now follow those colors. You can now use the uh, the opacity for the selected, right? Or just go into the ones that are not selected, and you can change the opacity of that. So you've got the colors, but not sort of like full on like this. So that will give you kind of like the Pro Tools uh, thing you get. So that's good there. And then we can obviously go into the mixer, uh, change these, these background, um, make that green. No, haha, <laughs> joking. So you can go black on that with a gray background, or we can go quite light colored on that if we want, make it yellow. Um, yeah, it's quite funky yellow. Uh, make it red, uh, or just keep it white, for example. Just use the straightforward apple colors. I can make it that darker if we want. So that sort of kind of even stands out even more. Over on the mixer, we got this is not following, so you've got to do the same thing here. You've got to go up here, choose track color, follow that, okay, and that will give us the same grading as the other side as well uh, this side we can make a bit go back to my this and give that and this a darker color darker gray give that one like that as well but then i want to change these to kind of like a, a different to give the instruments a different color so it changes from these and then click on these ones as well like that that up there follows this color here so if I go there again and put that red, you see that that, that follows. Red's quite funky. Um, go green. Yeah, I was up here blue, wasn't I? So that's quite not as like, you know, over the top. 
So I've done all that. I like that. Smart controls, nothing going on there really. Um, in the logic here, I might just have the same color again. Score edit. Maybe, now leave that as it is. Step editor. Library, you can do what you want there. Same sort of thing. Um, this is the same here. That follows. These are coming soon. So there's going to be some updates on this. So right, that's my iris thing. I think I might change the greys on this here though. Uh, bring that a bit darker. Uh, bring these ones a little bit different so they stand out. Okay. Okay, so now what you need to do, as you can see here, that's still my logic, original logic. It's still looking all boring. Now let's colorize. Right, so that will close down. We saved that. Uh, this is going to colorize. It's going to be my new, my iris dark three. It's going to be my new thing. But there's one more thing I will need to do. I'll show you in a minute because it's not actually implemented into the program yet. So you have to do something a little bit different to change what I want to change. But anyway, I'll show you. So now we've got all this here sitting here we've got these a different color there i change the colors on there i might do but as you can see there it is and it doesn't run if we go if we get rid of colorizer right just take that out i've got these going on but if we go into the apple monitor right and go up to see if there's anything going on uh in the background um Right, no LPX, LP, sorry. Logic Pro's there. And then there is no LP colorizer going on. It's not, so it doesn't sit in the background or anything. So this is my new uh, setup with all that. But if you're a color coding freak like me, this is beautiful. Now, the thing is, if I go to an empty, um, let me just create, Create a audio track. Create an audio track. You'll see that this here is black and you have trouble seeing it. So to correct that, right, and up the top here as well, this is a bit, we we'll have to change this so we can see this here because these don't actually come up uh, very easily. So I'm going to have to change that to a, a different color so we can see it. So we go back, we open up... Uh, Black LP colorizer, bring it back over because it goes over to the side. My screens are widescreen, so for YouTube, I have to make a smaller, uh, concentrated screen in the in the middle. First of all, we're going to go in here and we're going to search empty slot label. And you can see it's grey, so we want that to be white. Uh, so we go white and then go back here so when I change it this here will become white so now as you can see this is all now white here which looks really great so um, I've changed some stuff since I was last here which was about 10 minutes ago I wasn't happy with what was going on here with this so I put that back to so like a, a full grey instead of in lines it just annoyed me and up the top here I um, managed to get all this looking nice and white I changed all these this here as well using the same method as before just clicking on and going in as you can see here um, up here toolbar sorry so go to the toolbar and I clicked in here and changed the color of that using the choice of colors that I've got here so you've kind of got an idea of how this works now it's really really good you've got this function here we can go in and see all the, all the uh, details of each thing and change stuff that's not quite available yet like the the empty slot label that I did I did the empty group label as well and I also changed uh, the go back to here I changed the uh, I changed these here the inputs here I changed that because that was black on black so you couldn't see that so did that and I'm really really happy with my with my setup now it looks really really good I'm really kind of like happy with this and it, anyway back to the LP colorizer it is absolutely for me a no gamer 
I mean, I just don't know why people don't use it. I mean, it's just, just, just get around, you know, you see your vocals, guitars are yellow, keyboards are green, bass is blue. My, this is the way I color my stuff. And then, and then it's, it's so much easier to go around. It's so much nicer to look at. If you go back to the beginning of the video and have a look at what I had at the beginning, then it's, I'll take a snapshot and compare it. And it's just so boring. It's so boring. Anyway, I don't know why people don't use this. It's not very expensive. It's like 50 euros or something. It's not as if it's not it's like, you know, putting out a lot of money, but it's so much nicer and you can have fun with it. You can, you can put all these different kinds of themes in and have it like bright, bright sort of yellow or orange or something. You know, it's great. So yeah, so that's my take on the LP colorizer. I think it's a great program. I do recommend it. And I, as you can see for the last three years, I've been using it all the time. And this is the update, which I find really, really good. Um, this way of doing things, just clicking and changing the colors is so much easier. They told me that it's going to be uh, updated soon. There's a few functions. One of the things I I mentioned is going to be updated to be able to do in the um, GUI. Uh, so yeah, so there you have it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, like, subscribe, and I will see you soon. Ciao.